Hello and welcome back everyone. So in this episode I want to show you something called dithering. Now typically in Unity when an object loads into a scene it just kind of appears. Uh, I mean that, that can be nice in certain, certain situations but typically you want something a little bit smoother. And so with dithering you can make objects um, sort of fade out as they get um, a certain distance from the camera. And so to achieve that effect I'm using the Amplify Shader Editor. Now this is my node setup. You can ignore everything in this top corner. Um, I'm just feeding in some color values for the albedo, normal emission, etc. Um, but, but everything down here is what we're using for the actual dithering effect. Now for this to work you have to click on your material and you need to be in either custom or transparent with both of these set to transparent. And then this is how we're getting the pixel depth. So the, the camera depth fade essentially figures out how far this pixel is from where the camera is in the scene. Then we feed that into Jither, and that gives us the inverse of what we want. So to flip that value, we just um, subtract this value from 1. And uh, the, the reason for that is because um, this opacity, the, the opaqueness of the object, um, it will be completely solid and opaque if this value is 1. It will be completely transparent if the value is 0. Um, but but initially this was giving us the opposite, so we just had to flip it. Um, but that's really about it. Um, it's it's a very straightforward, simple effect that can look very nice if used well. I think that pretty much sums it up. Uh, if you're interested in checking out Amplify Shader Editor, there is a link in the description below. There's also a link to Surforge, which I used to create the basic texture on this ship. Um, that's about it. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.